Good morning, party people. It's me. I had a full day yesterday. Didn't get back till late. Had a catastrophe as well. I went and checked on a V70 that had a parasitic draw. Pulled all the fuses out. Put them all back in. Now the car won't crank. So I got to go deal with that first thing this morning. Try to get this car to crank. It's just turn the key, it's dead. You could push start it because it's a manual, but it won't crank. So I don't know. It may had something to do with the previous remote start that was installed, then removed. But I did learn how to do a parasitic draw. So I'm going to make a video about that. Uh, Eric the Car Guy has a pretty decent video about that. Uh, you know, anyway, at least I know how to do them now. I need to get a decent multimeter. The multimeter that I had, door cell batteries went bad in it, leaked a little acid in the thing, now the thing won't work. So, anyway, I got to get that replaced. I got a little temporary one that uh, Steve was kind enough to let me have. I went and checked, did some diagnostics on those red R's up there in Connecticut. Probably go back there tomorrow. Went out to check on Paul's car, having low boost, you know, uh, got a rip kit on it. A few other things uh, boost just wouldn't go up so we bought a bypass diaphragm installed that the one we took out didn't appear to have any tears in it so we took it for a ride still boosting around 3 4 psi so we pulled the vacuum line off of the wastegate actuator eased into it wasn't even 50% throttle and man that turbo was tearing it up so that car has either a bad BCS or wastegate actuator. So we're going to work on those things next. Also seeing that he had some hose chafing. We'll catch that in a video later. But man, you know, he's great hit the road today. So he was glad I had the chance to peek at that and deal with some of that stuff for him. So got that taken care of today. I'm planning on going to Brooklyn after I deal with this no crank situation. Hopefully the starter just didn't die all of a sudden, but you never know. You know, these old cars stuff break every day. So we're gonna check that out, get down to Brooklyn, and uh, go from there. I'm also trying to get Brandon a remote for his 850. Forgot to do that the other day. So that's where we're at. We'll be in New York City area at least till Monday. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Arrived in Brooklyn. <laughs> Some interesting parking situation. The sign on the pole said street cleaning this side of the street Wednesday 11:30 to 1. So everybody had to move their car from this side of the street. So they double parked on this side of the street. I think that's the 850 I need to work on. So I squoze my car in here. I guess I need to get it out of here and get it on this other side of the street. One of the neighbors told me about one. Interesting situation. You gotta love New York. Been here about 10 minutes. Turn your head, look back. All that crazy parking stuff is evaporated. Now we're all back to normal. So here's this 850. We're gonna do a PCV, heater core, a few other things. We're going to start off with the PCV system. Get the hard stuff done first. We're going to kick off this meeting, checking the mileage for giggles. Man, this car has a beautiful interior. So it says 99.253. Let's see what it actually has. Having a decent day. That looks clogged up. That hole there is at least 50% clogged. That one's 10% clogged. So this PCV definitely needed done. I pulled the fuel injectors out of the 
intake manifold so that I wouldn't have to disconnect that fuel line, drop that uh, gasket there for the fuel injector. Thank God I found that. So we're trucking along. I was cleaning the hole out with a zip tie and the zip tie snapped and broke and it is gone. There it is. It's the zip tie. So let me see if I can get that out of there with a needle nose pliers. If not, it'll live there forever. Till somebody drops the oil pan. But yeah, you know, still together. Guess we still like each other. Ah, <laughs> uh, might be able to get that out with a hook. Let me see if I can find a hook. I'm here working on Steve's 850T5 doing a PCV job. Now this kit is a little expensive, you know, so I have decided to cut costs for my sake. The most common thing that happens with the PCV kit or with the PCV in general is the ports in the engine clog up. So you'll sometimes see clogging in the bottom of this oil trap that can be cleaned out. I've done a bunch of these PCV jobs. I've only seen one oil trap that was damaged from the car overheating. It was deformed, jacked up. Other than that, this box probably could have been reused, cleaned up. Another thing that happens is this hose, this wraparound hose from 94 to 98. It's plastic. That tube gets hard and brittle. And when somebody's messing with the vehicle, doing a tune-up, messing with cam seals, stuff like that, they lean on this and they break it. Now you got a break in the PCV system and it no longer pulls proper vacuum. So this one broke brittle stuff. Now, a couple critical parts. This lower piece there that goes on the bottom of the engine that thing's critical. The over the top part is kind of critical. So this part, that's the part number there, this part always brand new. I don't normally order this wraparound tube. I get a used aluminum tube from a car in the salvage yard. I clean it out, make sure it's clean. I get silicone hoses make it work those things in the junkyard five bucks this thing right there 65 bucks something I do to cut cost I get these pieces like this so I have a what I call short list of parts that I recommend people order to do the PCV job especially if I'm doing it you order these parts you get these things in, I come in, I have that aluminum hose, I clean things that can be cleaned, I replace things that should be replaced. Your PCV is good as gold, just like it would be on Panther. You could get my short list and patch together a PCV system with an aluminum part, or you can order this kit, replace all of this stuff, and have to deal with one of those hoses breaking in 10, 15 years again. So that's just my take. You can spend 100 bucks versus 250. That's up to you. Let me know if you got any questions. Don't know if I told you guys or not, but I used my hook tool and got that dang going broken zip tie out of that hole. So, no longer have a zip tie in that hole. Got it all cleaned out. About to put the new stuff on. We actually have a replaced heater core. But looks like it might be leaking. Something's going on down here. Uh, yeah, we have wet, grainy, salt stuff. So we're going to go ahead and replace it. We got a new one. No need to take risk. Let's see what's going on here. It's my boy Manny's 850R. As clean as can be rolling it is one clean 850 if you feel that this information was useful 
please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.